Monday is the perfect day to correct last week's mistakes. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, let's take a look at these cryptocurrency markets today, right? I mean, $180 billion as a market cap, 5.9 billion trade in the last 24 hours, and 57.5% for a BTC dominance. We had a BTC all-time high price of 6300 over the weekend. I mean, we're looking at a BTC price right now at $6,214. We're up 7%. I mean, this smile is going to be here all day. I mean, today is a lovely Monday, right? Uh, you know, you got to be real happy when you look at your portfolio and you see your BTC investment increasing like this. Um, I mean, as I sit here and I look over the news, I see a lot of, you know, of the good news that's coming out that always seems to come out every time you see BTC hitting these all-time high prices. And I mean, this will probably continue for a little while uh, as we get closer towards the November, uh, you know, mid-November deadline here for the segregated witness 2x hard fork. So, I mean, let's see if we can't keep some positive news going with this bad news that's going to be coming up here right along. So, uh, let's take a look at the market. I mean, it looks like we are pretty much in the green on everything today. But, you know what they say, high tide raises all ships. Uh, we got Ethereum coming in at 309. So, I mean, there we go. That's real lovely to see them on the other side of the $300 mark. They're up 2.3%. Uh, we got Ripple coming in at 20.3 cents. It's up 1.25%. Uh, you know, that's still, it's, that's a nice gains considering that Ripple's always been on the move. Uh, we got Bitcoin Cash. Uh, you know, they had made some big moves over the weekend. They were up over 30%. They hit $500 at one point. Uh, they're down 7% right now, coming in in the mid 400s at 454. Uh, it's still not a bad place for them to be. Um, a lot of news coming out about them. Cryptoverse said something this morning about there could be a potential uh, fork of Bitcoin Cash, but you know, only time tells with these things. And I mean, the market's still having trouble figuring out what's going on with Bitcoin Cash. So as we look at Litecoin, we're up 4 percent we got a 57 dollars on it i mean that's still not too bad but you know under 60 bucks in that safe zone hate it there can't wait to see it move up uh you know whether or not we're going to get that hundred dollar litecoin by the end of the year uh it's looking kind of iffy now as the clock's ticking down we got dash coming in at 286 that's up 2.5 percent uh as i take a look at now we're up 2.6 percent there as well coming in at 19.8 cents we got monero raising up three percent coming in at an even 90 dollars that's really not that bad there for them we got ethereum classic uh they're up only like a half a percent uh, coming in at ten dollars and ninety cents, still struggling to break that eleven dollars. We got Zcash at two twenty nine, that's up like a third of a percent. We got Steam and the Steam back dollar coming in at ninety seven cents, and they're both up under a percent. So, I mean, what are we looking at here for news today on Bitcoin and coffee? Well, I mean, we all got to be happy about this all new high price. Uh, you know, we got to see if we can sit there and see Bitcoin keep some stability in this. But I mean, as I sit there and I scan the articles this morning going through the news, um, you know, I pretty much see, you know, that we reached $6,300 over the weekend, which I'm sure we all saw. And, uh, you know, that BTC jobs are up 82%. Um, you know, this is really good to see that, you know, people are getting invested in it and getting cryptocurrency uh, as a form of payment. So that way, I mean, if you can hold on to some of your paycheck, I mean, there you go. I mean, you're you're easily investing if you're getting paid in cryptocurrency. I mean, I would love it if my boss could pay me in Bitcoin. That'd be, fra that'd be fantastic, right? Uh, you know, and I mean, we're seeing something like, 30,000 wallets every single day are being created in Bitcoin. I mean, so there we go. I mean, Bitcoin's on the move. It's growing. I mean, every single day new people are coming into this space. Uh, every single day people are learning more and more about Bitcoin. Every single day Bitcoin is, you know, uh, leeching into society. I mean, like I had said at the beginning of this when I started, you know, this show off at the beginning of the year, uh, you know, I didn't know anybody that knew anything at all about cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. And now, you know, I do know people. I mean, now a lot of people do know at least that there is Bitcoin. Bitcoin. They think of it as some kind of money on the internet, um, you know, and only time is going to enlighten these people more and more until pretty much everybody's invested in Bitcoin because, you know, these kind of gains, they're getting hard to deny. Uh, and then, you know, we got the news that's coming out of the Vietnamese Central Bank, uh, you know, that they're going to be banning all cryptocurrencies and making it illegal. Uh, totally, you could tell that's the wrong move. But as always, you know, countries are going to do what they want to do. Uh, Vietnamese, uh, you know, Vietnam being a communist country and all, you know, they're definitely probably seeing this as a way of, you know, losing control of their people. So they're going to try to, you know, put the brakes on the situation before it gets out of control and they really can't do anything about it. Uh, you know, it's just the only people that this is going to hurt are the people that are poor and slightly uneducated in Vietnam, you know, who aren't going to, you know, want to break the law for fear of what will happen to them to even get invested in cryptocurrency because, you know, you can get invested in it even if it is illegal. Uh, you know, that's what this stuff is, you know, designed for. So, I mean, 
you know, I got to say thank you guys. As you can see, I got a brand new Bitcoin shirt. This is from you guys using my Amazon affiliation code. Uh, you know, it couldn't be any more appropriate. We got Bitcoin going to the moon. We got all new high prices. Um, you know, I mean, so thank you guys. You know, I appreciate it when you guys can, you know, do your thing and I can get a little kickback on it and buy some myself some Bitcoin apparel so then I can go out there and support the, you know, the Bitcoin community and get people talking about it. Because, you know, I do wear them and when people see them, they, you know, it does bring it up in conversation. So, and then I like to refer them to the channel. I'd also like to say hey and thank you to the 10 new members who come over here and join us here at Bitcoin and Coffee. Uh, you know, we got a great community going on here where we're trying to avoid the scams. We're trying to keep our Bitcoin safe. We're trying to keep up with the daily news in under 10 minutes because most of us got those nine to five jobs uh you know i was reading this weekend that they did a test or they did a study on six thousand people and that like 73 percent 74 percent of them are living you know paycheck to paycheck and that's you know those are the people i'm out there trying to talk to because i'm living paycheck to paycheck as well and uh you know this stuff's hard to put away but you know putting away the small amount of this stuff and earning it where we can earn it and making sure that we keep it safe is the best thing we can do towards our future so as always totally unfunded here so i got those donational addresses down there so that if you can help me out give me some sort of a kickback i also got affiliation codes and i got my email address free help desk service for you guys out there you know i love crypto i love you guys i love this community so i'm just trying to do what i can do for you and as well i got tools down there help you you know understand the network understand the markets a little better do what you got to do out there with your cryptocurrency and remember you know keep your btc safe